guys, Whitney here with the Mother Runners, and today I want to talk about fatigue resistance. What is fatigue resistance? Basically, it's how long it takes for your legs to tire out. Um, when you are training for longer distances, such as a marathon, you want to callous the legs so that they don't get tired and don't quit on you while you're going the distance. This is something that I've had a vested interest in because I took a very long break, about two and a half years, um, and returned to running last late spring. I ran my first marathon in December and I fueled beautifully, but my legs just kind of quit at mile 16. Um, so this training cycle, I've been focusing on fatigue resistance and there are three things that I've done that have helped me that may help you. Um, I highly recommend doing this with a coach though, because a coach is going to know whether or not the programming is best for you. Um, one is to add volume. I was running in the mid 60s per week um, of miles and I upped that so that I peaked at 80 miles per week. Um, this, you can increase volume by like 10% per training cycle typically. Um, that's a safe range and you want those miles to be very, very easy. So I just padded my miles um, onto like my, my warm up and my cool down. Um, number two, I did add a very easy recovery day on Sunday after my long run so that my body got used to running on tired legs. Um, and number three, I did more marathon pace or faster workouts in my long runs. Um, typically I would do just like four miles at a pickup pace at the end of a long run. Those were really hard for me. The training cycle, I was doing more like six, eight, 10, um, towards the end and over time those felt easier. So those are three, um, training tips that helped me again. Don't just jump in and try this without making sure it's the right fit for you, but typically adding volume um, in a safe way with easy running is a really great way to start callousing those legs so that you can run faster for longer. Have a great day.